Hi everyone, it's Daisy here. Welcome to today's video all about our four most popular in-store gel pens. So I'm so excited about this video. If you've been to our store before, you've probably seen that along our main tester table, we have jars and jars of pens for everyone to try and find out what their favorite pen is. Well, most of those jars of pens are actually filled with all different types of gel pens. And gel pens are really, really popular choice for people who write a lot of letters or do a lot of journaling and maybe are students and take a lot of notes because the ink formulation of gel pens is one that makes the gel pen really, really easy to use relative to the other pen alternative the other pen alternatives such as a ballpoint pen or a rollerball pen. So we've done a whole video explaining the differences between the ink that's found in rollerball pens versus ballpoint pens versus gel pens um, and even fountain pens. So check out that video if you're if you have lots of questions about the ink that's found in these pens. But for this video, we're just going to be covering four of our favorite gel pens, and we'll just go into a little bit of what makes a gel pen a gel pen. So we are looking at four of our favorite gel pens, and all of these pens come with ink that is gel-based. That is different from the ink that's found in a ballpoint pen or a water or a rollerball pen because of the viscosity of the ink itself. So gel pen ink has uh, pigments that are mixed in with gels. So the ink itself is like is like a gel. Think of like hair gel, um, which makes it really really easy to use because it's a lot smoother to write with. It's closer to water than oil, which is what is the base of ballpoint pens. So that's why gel pens are a lot smoother than ballpoint pens. And you can usually write a lot faster with gel pens than with a ballpoint pen because the ink is just smoother as it's coming out. And at the same time, because the pigment is actually suspended in a gel, it is pretty quick to dry relative to more water-based inks such as fountain pen inks. So because gel pens are in this happy in-between space of viscosity um, relative to your really, really watery uh, rollerball pens and your really watery fountain pens and your really, really oily ballpoint pens, because it's like in this happy middle ground, it makes it a perfect choice for people who need to write really quickly, who need to write a lot, and who like to switch up their colors because the medium of the gel just makes it very, very easy to make gel pens in lots of different colors. So that's the explanation of gel pens. For more information, check out the other video. But without further ado, let's take a look at our four most popular gel pens in store, starting with the Zebra Sarasa Vintage Colors. These pens, our, these pens are our most popular gel pens in store, and they are our most popular gel pen among our team. I think that lots of people on our team just go for one when they are writing notes or when they want to just write down a quick note and they want a smooth pen that isn't going to give them any trouble. It's very reliable. So these are Zebra Sarasa pens and they'll, and on the clip here, you see it says Zebra Sarasa clip and that's because they have this kind of very iconic clip and all, a lot of the Sarasa series pens from Zebra have this clip. Um, the Sarasa series debuted back in 2000, and these vintage colors are just one series of many in the Sarasa series. So this is not a full look at the Sarasa series at all, but just a look at the vintage colors, which happen to be very popular and well-loved in our store and among our team members. I think the colors of these vintage colors speak for themselves. 
They have really, really beautiful, like vintage color bodies. And the color of the ink actually corresponds with the color of the body of the pen. So going from top to bottom, let's look at these pens. This is dark gray, cassis black, Bordeaux purple, green black, camel yellow, blue gray, uh, brown gray, green black, sepia black, red black, and this is blue black. So these are not your typical like bright red, bright green, bright purple ink colors that you find in your typical gel pens. These are more muted colors, more nuanced colors. And I think that is why they're so popular among people at our store. It's just very surprising when you first write with one to see that the color of the ink so perfectly matches the color of the body of the pen. And then they're like not your typical colors. So they're really fun if you are very familiar with gel pens and you're just looking for like a different color palette maybe more muted more like vintagey it goes really well and they're also really fun if you've never written with colored pens before but you want something different without being like bright pink <laughs> so i do have a swatch of the colors for you guys to see um and here here's a swatch of the different colors of this series these are available in 0.5 millimeter tips and you can see here they really match the colors of the bodies very well like there's camel yellow and one of my favorites is the bordeaux purple so that's great these are also refillable and all of the 10 colors of the vintage colors are actually refillable. So that's another delightful thing about them is that you can get refills for them once you use up the ink. And um, they're just they're just fun and very, very, very easy to pick up like handfuls of them, which people often do in store. So that is our number one most popular gel pen. Okay, so let's look at our number two most popular gel pen. And the, this list is not in any particular order except for number one, which is the Sarasa Vintage Colors, which really is our most popular um, gel pen. But number two on the list as well is Sarasa Nano, Zebra Sarasa Nano. I'll go over these pretty quickly because they are in many ways similar to the Sarasa Vintage Colors that I was talking about earlier. And they're also made by Zebra and they're also the Sarasa line. So they also have this very iconic clip that we were looking at before, which is like this spring loaded binder clip that comes on the pen body. Um, and these were released in 2021. So 21 years after the release of the new Sarasa series, Zebra continues to add different versions of Sarasa pens because they are very popular among students, among office workers, um, anybody who uses pens will probably know about these pens. So these are the Sarasa Nanos, and you can see here they are very similar to the Sarasa Vintage Colors that we were looking at before, down to the spring-loaded clip. The main distinguishing feature of these is just that they are available with a very fine tip. So these are available in 0.3 millimeter tips in many more colors than this. I believe there are 30 or so colors colors to this entire collection. And this is a popular choice for anybody who loves a really, really fine tip, um, who likes to write really small, who loves to write in the grids very neatly. They will go for the Sarasa Nano in the point three. And if you're curious whether the Sarasa vintage colors come on the 0.3 Nano, they do. So actually, if you love the vintage colors that I was talking about earlier, but you also love a really, really fine tip, 0.3, then you'll be happy to know that you can get the Sarasa Nano in the vintage colors as well, as many people do in our store all the time. <laughs> okay, so that was number two on the list, the Sarasa Nano in 0.3, which is kind of like an add-on to the Sarasa vintage colors in 0.5. And next on the list of our most popular gel pen has to be the Uniball One. Uniball One looks like this. This is another pen um, where I've only grabbed about 10 different colors of them, but there are 
so many different colors in this series. And Uniball 1 also comes in 0.38 as well as 0.5 millimeter tip um, with lots of special edition uh, bodies, lots of different bodies. There's Uniball 1P, there's all, there's all these sorts of special edition, limited edition releases for the Uniball 1. But this body looks like this. It's a pretty, um, it's a pretty simple design by Uni. It also has this very unique clip. It's also spring-loaded, just like the Sarasa versions. But this one has this sort of um, curled up edge over here to help you get it into binder covers or notebook covers really easily. You can just clip it in there and it slides in very easily because of the shape of that clip. Um, I don't think that people get this pen because of the clip. I think that people get this pen because of how smooth it writes and because of how pigmented and dark the ink looks. Uniball 1 was actually just released a few years ago. It was released in 2020 and it was a big deal when it came out because the ink, the black ink that it was originally released in was very, very opaque and very dark. So if you put it next to, if you put Uniball 1 ink next to any other kind of gel pen ink, it's actually a lot darker and a lot more pigmented and opaque than other black inks. So people loved that about it. And I think when you write with it in store as a tester, People just love how smooth it is. They love how simple the design is. It's a very lightweight, easy to use pen. And that's why it is number three on our list of most popular gel pens. Okay, so next on the list, number four of our four most popular gel pens, the last one is the Pentel Energel Infree. This pen looks like this. Let's take a look at it. It comes in these very clear bodies, also lots of colors, not as many colors as the Sarasas or the Uniball ones, not nearly as many colors. There's probably about 10-ish colors in this, um, in this series with your stand, very, like pretty standard choices, black, blue, but there's also like some fun ones like blue, black, and purple, and turquoise, and they even have like a smoky gray color, which I personally really, really love. Pentel Energel has really quick drying ink, and this is a needle tip version. So you can see here that this is 0.5 millimeters, but it is a needle tip version. So this one in particular is very popular in store because people will try it and it's really smooth. And this one actually dries faster than most of the other gel pens that are available. Um, especially for a 0.5 millimeter because a thinner tip such as the Sarasa Nano should dry quick. And it does dry quick because it's so, so fine, but a thicker tip such as the 0.5 might be a little bit more inky and you might expect it to smear a little bit more, but it doesn't. The Energels don't smear. They're so fast to dry and I think that that is one reason why they are really popular in store among our other gel pens. Um, if you like Energel ink, they come on lots of bodies, but this one just happens to be one of the more affordable options where all of these gel pens we're looking at today are $5 or less. All of the gel pens that we're looking at today are in the $5 range or even less than that. So these are all really affordable options. And if you're looking for a quick drying option, then you can't really beat the Pentel Energel in free. Now that we've looked at our four most popular gel pens, I do have a little writing sample of all of the different gel pens side by side so that you guys can see the actual writing and what they look like in a four millimeter Stology grid. So here you guys can see, I've used the black ink for all of them and you can see that there are differences in both the line thickness, obviously. So these are, the top ones are thicker. Those are 0.5 millimeters. The one in the middle here is the 0.3 millimeter and you can see how fine that is and how good that looks writing on a four millimeter grid. You can really get in that grid. 
Um, and then there is the Uniball 1 in 0.38, although it is also available in 0.5. So these are all the black inks and that hopefully will help you just kind of look at how some of them perform differently on different papers. And isn't it interesting how the black inks all have like a slightly different quality to them as well. Um, this paper is pretty thin. It's on the thin side, the Stology paper. So there is ghosting on the back side for all of them, actually. Um, the least ghosting is the Sarasa Nano, but um, the Uniball 1.38, you can get away with that one as well. But if ghosting bothers you, you shouldn't really do uh, the 0.5s on this paper. So that wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little discussion of our top four gel pens. These are definitely our most favorite gel pens, our most used gel pens personally among the team as well. And let us know if you enjoyed this video. Let us know if I missed anything or if you're surprised by anything on this list, anything that's not on this list. And thank you guys so much for watching this video on our favorite gel pens. Thanks. Bye.